Through today we have Shotgun Witch, which is a bullet hell game that's supposedly hard. Um, we're gonna see if I can do it with mouse and keyboard. If I can do it with mouse and keyboard, it must not be that hard because I haven't played a bullet hell in forever. But I used to be pretty decent at them. Um, this music will probably give me copyright strike because it is actually super good. I like it. I dig it. Um, as always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Demons have taken away your spell book during your slumber. Oh no. Without it, you no longer continue your journey to master spellcasting. There are five achievements in this game, and we're going to try to get all of them, and I need to figure out how to full screen this. Our heroine, now laid bare, the only possession she has left are the clothes on her back. How do I maximize you? Please. Oh, and her top of the line 12 gauge double barrel Remington for only $109.95 at S Mart. Shop S Mart. Shop Smart. Shop S Mart. That's a Evil Dead reference, and I love it. Nobody touches your spell, but hell to the king, baby. <laughs> I don't have full screen, please. I don't know. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna have to reopen this. Something's not right. I'll be back. I don't know if this is controller compatible, but if it's hard, I might need to use it. Oh, I got an achievement for my first kill, because I'm amazing. You kill me? Oh, too easy, baby. I'm gonna try to stop cussing my videos too. That's my goal. I've been talking about it for a while. But I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try to use alternate words. Like, please die, little pink thing. Please. Wave two. Oh wait, we're still on wave one. This might actually be a hard game. It did say it was hard, so I guess we're, it's living up to it might live up to the hype. Who I about didn't see that. Okay, the hard thing is you just gotta keep your vision on your character because this map's really big, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Because you have to look at your character being attacked from all angles while you're trying to hit these things from a distance. I obviously shouldn't have to look at them as far as I'm trying to do. I should just have to watch my character, make sure she's not getting hit, and just like shoot at the angle that they're at. It might cause me to miss more, but it's definitely safer. And I can shoot their shots, which is kind of weird. You don't think that would be possible, but it is! Wow! I am unkillable. This widespread seems broken, because if it breaks their attack, how are they going to hit me? Wait, two! Boy! You have to, I'm assuming you have to start all the way over if you die, so... I wonder how many types of enemies there are. Or do they just get more plentiful as we kill them? Okay, there's different types of enemies, but that one's stationary, so... Too easy. We know where they're gonna shoot every time as long as they're stationary. So we just gotta watch for the movement ones and not run into their bullets. Wide shots don't do near as much damage, so we're going to stay away from that, actually. Not a fan of that one. I do love the music, though. It's so banging and relaxing. But I do not feel like it's a YouTube Audio Library 3 song that will not get me banned. Or reported, or whatever it's called. Copyright Strike. I guess it doesn't matter. Just hopefully it doesn't put an ad for you guys, because I can't monetize it, so hopefully no one else will. I don't like how that just teleported me, because if a bullet's traveling, I wonder if that kills me. That would really suck. Wave 3. Boy, there is a final boss in this story mode. There is an endless mode if you think you're a baller and want to see how far you can get, but that's not what I'm going for. Ooh, baby! Ooh, baby! That was cool. Oh, wow, that was stressful, actually. <laughs> stressful, actual. Jesus, I'm gonna wipe my nose before I kill this last dude. Wow! Oh, baby! What are you doing, baby? <laughs> Don't shoot me, it's a fluffy panda. Oh, that's a new guy. Whoa, whoa, it's a bomb! You dropped a bomb on me, and you turned me out. I haven't heard that song forever. They used to come on the dang radio all the time. I haven't. I wonder who sings that song. Cool in the game? No, I don't think so. You dropped the bomb on me. We gotta watch out for the bomb, dude. That's dangerous business right there. What? There's a dash button and I forgot it. 
Oh my god. And I keep hitting the freaking F1 key. Oh my god. <sighs> Wave 3. Alright, we're back to where we were at. I figured out if you actually hit the e uh, R key instead of the F1 key like I did, you can actually go back to where you died at. Oh, I didn't know you could get as far as possible from them and they won't kill you. See ya, man. Good try, bomb dude. Oh, you still have to kill him, I guess, even if he bombs. But yeah, it's definitely better to kill the moving ones first and then the stationary ones. But, I mean, if you can restart from the wave you're at, this is definitely doable by anybody. I thought you had to restart after every wave if you died, but that is obviously not the case. Oh, wow. Huh. Keeping spatial awareness of your character is very important. But you can definitely one-ding people right when they spawn if you get close enough. But you gotta be careful too, because they might try to shoot you right when they spawn as well. So, it's a rest-reward kind of thing. If you want to go fast, it's better to one-ding them right when they spawn. But you may die. Results may vary. You feel me? Wave 4. I wonder how many waves there actually are in this game. Probably 5 or 10, I would think. Oh, he's really easy to kill. Poor little pumpkin man. Rest in peace. But yeah, if you kill all the moving pink blobs, you should be freaking chill for that wave. These stationary ones aren't much of a threat. Two attack patterns and they don't move. Tell me more. I guess the stationary ones are supposed to cut down on how far you can move around the map, but I mean, basically they just shoot the same place every time, so. Too easy, baby. No, pumpkin boy, please. Pumpkin lad. You suicidal man, you. Ah, oh. yeah, it's teleported me. Wave five. I think there might only be one boss, because there's only one boss achievement in the game. It's a tragic Oh, that would be tragic too. Or, do not hit F1. Whew, I don't know why I was reading F1 first, because the R's in front of it, but I was definitely skipping over that and just hitting F1 for the longest. But like, dang, this game's kind of hard, because I had to keep starting over from the beginning, but... It's not so... If you're not dumb like me, me. Wow, too easy. I like how once she loses her spell book, she goes full freaking medieval with the shotgun. She's like, "All right, screw the spells. It's shotgun time." Oh god, dude. Oh my god. Handy dandy Remington double barrel shotgun. Perfect for killing deadites. I was about to say, I better not die to one of those stationary suckers. If I do, I'm terrible. I might have already died to one once, but I shouldn't have. Terrible. Just absolutely terrible. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, nice. No pumpkin boy? Pumpkin lad, where are you? I miss you. I miss you, and I'm so sorry. Oh, Boston coming. Five waves, baby. Alright, what you want? What you want? He actually got Oh, look at that thing. Why oh, can you shoot your shots, dude? You ain't got nothing. Oh, poor. Aw, oh, poor Satan cube. Aw, oh, tragic. Why wouldn't I just sit here and shoot him? Those things are no threat to me. What? What? Ah, I think this is a game design flaw. This is supposed to be a challenging game, I said. Ah, I don't think it is. <laughs> I don't think that it is. Oh, oh they almost got me there. That would have been sick. But... Oh, that went. Ah, oh, achievements. Played the final boss. Congratulations! You got your spellbook back! The day was saved, and you put your 12 gauge wall not stuck, call bolt still with power trigger, double barrel Remington, and the title of the shotgun witch away. Aww. Regular witch achievement. Let me look at all the achievements. I have three. 
Alright, so regular witch, made your first kill, stayed, slayed the final boss, and then there's die 30 times. And die 10 times, those are all the achievements. Is there a fast way to die in this game? I don't think so. This is gonna take long. I'm just going to, like, cut to when I get my 30, 30 deaths because it will be a long video if you have to watch me die 30 times because you gotta wait for it to spawn enemies and kill you. I just wanna make sure that all the achievements work so I can let you guys know before I get my final review of the game. Alright guys, so I confirmed that you can get all 30, uh, death all, all the achievements, one of them's dying 30 times. I would recommend that when you get that achievement, you do it in the continuous mode and just catch the bullets as many times as you can. I don't know if it counts your deaths if you exit the game, because I was, uh, before I knew you could just restart from the wave you were on. Um, I was exiting all the way out of the game, I don't know if it counted those deaths, because it took a while to get the 30 deaths. It took me about 5 or 6 minutes, actually. Um... But yeah, my review on the game, I wish the story mode had more story. Uh, maybe the shotgun witch is wreaking hell, killing all these innocent hell people just to get her spellbook back or something. A little bit more story to it or something that makes it feel more um, like rewarding or more telling when you get your spellbook. Besides, oh, I lost my spellbook. Oh, I got my spellbook back. Nice. Um, the game was supposed to be difficult, but it really isn't because one, you can restart at every wave. And two, you can shoot the bullets. Like that final boss, I could literally just... Actually, let me turn the music back on so you're not just listening to me talk. But you can like actually just sit there and shoot the boss and shoot through his bullets. If you wanted to make the game a little bit more difficult, take that out. And really for a bullet hell game, your boss needs to have multiple phases. Um, because really all his phase was was a spiraling bullet thing. If I couldn't shoot through his bullets, I'd just have to keep the farthest distance I could and still hit him with my shotgun to get the gaps wider because that's how the spiral pattern almost always works in bullet hell games. But I didn't even have to do that because I could shoot his bullets and shoot him at the same time. Um, let me go to the credits as well so they can get... Because it, it, I dig the concept. It just could use work. Um, it's really simplistic. I'm actually surprised at how like less graphic it was than I thought it was going to be because the Evil Dead reference kind of got me my expectations up, or the Army of Darkness reference, which is the evil, part of the Evil Dead series. But yeah, I dig that they had that reference. But I wish there was a little bit more story showing my progress as I go through the wave, seeing how I'm impacting the kind of world that our bullet hell heroines part of. Uh, but I mean, it's nice and relaxing, and the music's pretty good. Um, but yeah, the boss fight has like one phase, so it's super easy. And you can start back on the wave you're on, which takes out all the difficulty. I get wanting to make your game like playable by everybody. Um, but maybe make a hardcore mode where your bullets don't shoot through the pellets. For people that want to challenge you, maybe put an extra achievement on it. So you feel kind of rewarded for your achievements. Because all the achievements in this game are super easy. Regular witch, beat the game, made your first kill, kill one of those pink blobs or anything. Slide the final boss, die 10 times, die 30 times. So it's like really easy to get all the achievements. But yeah, uh, overall, good start of the game, good concept. But just need some execution work. Thanks for watching, always, guys.